steps! Runners! Steps. Runners!
guys, welcome back to St Neitz Town TV. Um, top of the table clash today. Um, St Neitz Town 3, Pool Town 2. Um, what do you think of that one, Liam? I think it's a great result. Um, they've come here undefeated, only conceded four goals all season. We put three past them and three quality goals as well, and I think we deserve the win. And that's the, the most pleasing thing is the boys have worked very, very hard. They've executed the game plan that we asked them to execute. And um, we've got the right result, so for us as a management team, we're absolutely delighted. Matthew, it was a test of character today because I felt we certainly started the game better than Paul and we created some chances early on, um, but they scored the first goal, more or less with their first attack. They had a good shot, didn't they? Yeah. Resulted in a corner and a scrappy goal conceded. What did you make of the test of our character today? Um, yeah, it was good because um, obviously we, we'd set up a way we, we wanted to set up. We wasn't really too worried about them coming into the game we just wanted to deal with what with what we had to deal with um, shape wise for us so um, and then as the game went on as you say we started the game quite well I think they had a little spell for about five minutes after they scored five seven minutes after they scored but and then we're looking back at the goal though, it was disappointing let's, let's put it that way they're top they're top of the they're top of the league and they've come here and we've given them a goal which which is not great which is not great but as I say as you're talking about character yeah is, but they show, we showed that on Monday against Hitchin, I think. So it's starting to creep in, and we're trying to tell the lads and, and teach the lads what they need to do to build character. Let's not let's not put, let our heads go down when we go one 0 down. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There's nothing. There's nothing in the game. They've just scored from a corner, so we give them a goal. Nothing in the game. Let's keep going, and we'll go and get a goal. I thought that definitely came across because the lads really just settled straight back into the game. Then there wasn't any drop heads. They got on it and. Um, well, what a goal for an equaliser it's right on the stroke of half time. What do you make of um, Drew's finish? Fantastic finish from Drew, but we see it every week. We know what to expect from him, and uh, if we get him chances, he scores goals. He, he always has done and probably always will do. He's that type of player. I was more pleased with how Louis and, and JD um, yeah. interacted. It's a fantastic ball from Louis to see him in the little space. And, and again, the through pass from JD was fantastic. I thought JD was struggling first half. We weren't sure if he was injured. We put him back in after taking a knock in the last game. Um, and after that pass, it really raised his game. And I think he got more into the game. He got more confident. And, and that's what it's about. It's about, for us, everybody will make a mistake on a football pitch. Um, it's about how we respond to that. It's how our teammates respond. Everybody will have a little slight off day, but you have to sometimes drag those teammates up and through because we're a team, we're a squad, um, that, and that's the, the management, the fans, you know, the 11 on the pitch, the guys that are not involved. And if we can get that mental mentality here at St Neots, then I think we can build something special. Yeah, I must say, um, Jay's chip over probably one of the tallest players on the pitch, and it was a chip. It's such a beautiful ball, and, and Drew was like, oh finally in on goal and smashed it in under, uh, underside of the crossbars no no doubt no, about it nice. it's, it's nice to see as Liam said it's nice to see your three well your two flair players and, and one of your strikers linking and getting you a goal like that um, it, it's very pleasing to see um, but like you said as well the, the team the team is, is the most important thing at, at, at times um, so if we like Freights has made a, a little mistake today um, for the first for the first goal, it's his man who headed it back across. Yeah. Um, but they then Drew's pulled him out of the out of a hole with, with the goal, you know. So if we can keep plugging away and 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 bringing that kind of what's the word I'm looking for? That kind of mentality. Mentality. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the right word. Mentality that yeah, we've got a goal down. He's made a mistake. Don't worry about that. Let's let somebody else will pull you out and, and we'll move on and we'll get results and we'll go up the league. So half time one one. What was it like going in the dressing room at that sp stage? Because the game was, well, like you say, going to plan to a certain extent. I was very positive. Um, I said to the lads, we've had eight to nine shots on goal. Uh, they've not troubled us at all. Yes, they've scored a goal and they've they've showed up in bits. But we've got the game here. Uh, the, the, the better players were coming more and more into the game. As I said, from the goal that the mood was raised, it was just really about tweaking a few things and making those know that everybody will make a mistake. Keep going, keep believing. <coughs> let's win together, let's lose together, let's draw together. Whatever happens today, we carry on working hard. We're together as a bunch. Go out and create chances. Um, don't let off because the best teams are relentless. You know, if we get ahead, we keep going, we keep doing the right things. And the only disappointing thing for me today was we got 3-1 up against a very good side and we let them into the game. Yeah. We, we get a sloppy goal away, they've hit the bar at the end. 
and sometimes I, you have to emphasise off the back of a good result some of the bad things yeah. and the bad things for me were that we didn't do the right things at the right time in the last five minutes uh, like I said giving that sloppy goal away if we're tighter we need to be ruthless here at St Neots we don't give anything away everybody that comes in needs to earn a goal earn a win yeah. uh, and if we can set up like that and, and tweak those things when we're winning when we're losing it shouldn't be anywhere near as, a, as much of a problem yeah, I mean um, we settled, settled into the second half quite quickly and it was a f kind of mundane start to the second half I thought um, and it was 18 minutes that we finally took the lead in the match for the second time and I must say I thought it was Ryan's goal I know Drew's claimed it Drew reckons he's got a sniff on the ball as it's come through but um, it was a fine strike at goal wasn't it a good reaction from Ryan there yeah no it was a good, it was a good goal well he'll tell you it was a great goal um, I don't know if you've got it on camera but I think you should delete it because he, he'll have it on his phone and everything he'll be sending it to all the lads um, but no it, coming out from the we, we just scored at 45 minutes so obviously the lads that's why when we took him in when we go in there, we've got a half time. We've got to like sit down, calm down, and, and then get your heads again, and then and then start the second half the way we wanted to start the game. And, and we've made a few tactical changes, um, and and the shape um, that they had in the first half for, for a 15, 20 minute spell <clears throat> probably was causing us a little problem. Not not nothing major. As you say, they only had one 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 effort I think in the first half from long range. Um, so coming into the second half, we, we kind of matched them up, and I thought if we if we kept doing what we were doing, we would overrun them in the end and getting the goal and then going 3-1 and maybe we could have had a few more opportunities and, and goals but as I say, we let them back into the game a little bit where it is tough because they've got four from a free kick, six up front which we'd yeah. never have in the first half if it was if it was a, if it was nil-nil or was it a tight game, you wouldn't have six up front. So, But yeah, like Liam said, when, when it's in that that state of the game, we've got to just nearest man, mark nearest man, your man don't score. Um, so, but but we're pleased. We're pleased. We can't we can't knock those little bits that we've conceded two, two poor goals really. But we'll, we'll always score goals. Mate, I've got to give you a pat on the back because you released the ball for our third goal. Great crossfield pass um, to Drew, wasn't it? Who yeah. then fed Louis in for a fine finish. That was a beautiful, yeah, no, beautiful goal. goal. Really, it's, I think. I think as long as we can, as long as we don't panic and and we find passes, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll rip through teams. You saw it in the first half when it was quite tight. We found three passes, goal. We do that. We do that in this league. Find a pass. Find another pass, goal. Um, and instead of getting drawn into games where the lesser clubs want to try and play a little bit more direct. So if we can, as I say, if we can get someone who can get on the ball and, and find a little pass, we'll create chances. Liam, overall, it was a brilliant team performance today because, you know, Paul are no mugs. They've had a terrific start to the season, full of confidence. And um, without doubt, it's always difficult not to be biased, but I really do think we played the better football today. And um, it was a test of character for Paul as well, wasn't it? Without a doubt, um, their tails will be up now. They'll have a little think. Uh, I think they'll regroup because good teams do. Um, and I think we did have the, the majority of the game. And that comes from technically very good players working hard and I don't, I'm not sure how that was before but like I keep emphasising to our midfield four technically I think they're four of the best midfielders in the league but you have to earn the right to play and that comes with hard work that comes with matching those teams that have less ability than you but match them for work rate match them for commitment and desire head every ball tackle every every player and then go and play then go and do your, 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 your bits and all we've done is we've said to the players, play to your strengths. You know, JD create, Louis Hilliard create, Drew, Drew Roberts score goals. You know, and I think that's where it comes from, getting all the players to play to their strengths. And if we bring it together as a team, I think we'll be a hard outfit to play this year. I think we'd have all preferred a 3-1 scoreline, but Paul certainly knocked on the door towards the end there. And it was, um, well, it was a real heart-stopping few minutes, six minutes of added time I had. And um, they hit the crossbar and, and done all they could, didn't they? Certainly, that's football though, isn't it? Um, they're a good team, they will throw everything at you. They're desperate to, to maintain their record. They're confident, they always score goals as well. Um, and it was just about us basically shutting the door on them. We had, like Matt said, we had two or three chances ourselves. We could have gone four or five, maybe six up. We had a penalty that wasn't given. Um, but you can expect that from the better teams. You can expect them to, to chase a game and, and six up front. Makes it very difficult, but I thought the back four headed very well. They defended very well. And apart from the first set piece, 
everything was flawless apart from that. They won every header, they contested and challenged for everything. There were some fantastic blocks made on the edge of the box, even from players like JD, which you don't expect it. And that shows that everybody's rowing the boat in the right direction. Guys, congratulations today, great victory. Thank you very Thank much. You. Enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thank you.